Hey everybody, John Juber here from uh, Maryland K-12. Um, you know, I, I put a little post out the other day, be getting a lot of action on it. Uh, here in Maryland, um, the State Department of Education has recently published its uh, uh, statistics for the year for the 22-23 school year regarding student arrests. These are, these are students who were actually arrested um, either on school property or as a result of something that happened in school. So it's, it's, it's a classified as like a, like a student arrest. Um, you know, originally I thought, oh, you know, it's something new came out, you know, and I look, th this has been out for a little bit. It's been out since April. Um, and I've seen it before, but I just, I, for some reason there was all the, all the hubbub was, was, uh, getting pushed around social media because apparently there's, there was a big incident up in Lock Raven High. Um, and then there was, an, the, and, um, some other ones up in Baltimore County, I'm old stomping around in Baltimore County. I know a lot of folks up there. Um, so anyway, I thought I was kind of take a look at some of this data and see, what it means across the board. And the bottom line is this, you can't draw any conclusions from this folks, other than every jurisdiction is doing its own thing. A uh, jurisdiction that suspended the most kids in the entire state of Maryland is Wacomico County. They have one of the smallest populations and yet they suspended the most students. Does that mean that they have the worst kids there? Eh, not necessarily. Maybe it means they have a different approach to what's going on in, in Wacomico County. Here's, here's how it gets distorted. Um, Wacomico County, for example, in, 2020, in the 22-23 school year, they suspended 204 students, which is 1.4%, you know, right around, almost like 1.5%, a little bit less than 1.5%. Of the entire student population was was arrested, not suspended. I'm sorry, arrested. They arrested one almost 1.5 percent of the population. You look at Baltimore County, who has 111,000 students. They arrested 116. Okay, does that mean that Baltimore County is so much better in terms of their behavior, uh, in, in crime and whatnot? The answer is probably not. It's somewhere in the middle. The answer is there is no consistent measure in terms of how each one of the jurisdictions is implementing um, its its policies. Um, down here on the shore in, in Worcester County, um, they arrested 19 students, which is 0.27%. But last year, in the 22 school year, they arrested 54. There is a huge dust up down here in Worcester County, if you're not, or Worcester, for those of you on the other side of the bridge, in, in Maryland, we're in Maryland, there was a huge dust up between the Sheriff's Department and the Board of Education because the Sheriff was essentially accusing the Board of not, not the Board themselves, but he went to the Board to say that the folks in the school system are not reporting crime to them so that they can take appropriate action. Um, and he went to the board. He provided, um, you know, they, these these are private meetings, so we don't really know for sure. But he provided some information, some documentation, and, and some examples. And nothing has really come of it other than he has provided a long list of um, recommendations. And the board has been very slow to, to react. Now, of course, the, the school year is pretty much over, so I imagine that might be a little topic for the summer. But this arrest data, um, you just you just can't make anything of it. Montgomery County, um, the largest county in, in the state of Maryland, uh, arrested 56 students or had the, the, the county, the, the school system doesn't arrest kids, the, the police departments do or sheriff's department, depending. Um, so it was a, they had a hundred, they have 160,000 kids in Montgomery County and 56 of them were arrested. Whereas, like I said before, Wacomico County has 15,000 kids and 204 were arrested. Um, you can't make anything of it other than, than the, the, the discrepancies of, of how the policies are, are forced. That's what the issue is. And I would suspect when you look at like Worcester County, when you see these large jumps from one to another, like, you know, like I said, in Worcester County, I think the issue there was they had 54 students. Now, they only got about 6,800 students, um, 68, you know, right around 6,800 or so students. In 22, they arrested, they had arrested 54 students, and then it dropped to 19. So that would kind of lead you to believe that there's a lot more going on there, and it's not being reported. That would kind of support what the sheriff had to say there. But anyway, it's just, 
you, you can't make any you can't make sense of it because every jurisdiction is a little different. Okay, I I I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know what to make of it. Other than whatever county you're in, you know, my my home original county was Anne Arundel. Um, it's where I grew up. It's where I went to school. Um, they arrest there. They had arrested about 150 students, and they had about 8,500 kids. That's 0.18 percent. Um, well, Comic Code leading the charge. They're locking them up like crazy, and you know, I, I don't know. I just don't know what to make of it, and I don't think anyone else does either. Um, and it just is what it is. So anyway. <laughs> Sorry I didn't have any more uh, any more uh, earth shattering news for you anyway. Thanks. Have a great day.